All right, how's it going everybody? Um, hope everybody's doing well. I just got home from work a while ago and decided I wanted to do a uh, quick update. So yeah, I've got one cassette, uh, two CDs, and two records. So yeah, let's just get started. Uh, this first one is a uh, cassette I picked up recently from uh, Vinland. Um, this is a uh, Hunter Save, which came out uh, last year. Um, I know I've talked about this album before. It's just it's a really really good album. It's a uh, melodic black metal. Um, I can't recommend this enough. I just, I listen to this album all the time. It's really killer. Um, comes on a clear cassette, which is pretty cool. And uh, just kind of a simple card on the inside. Really hoping that they release this on vinyl soon, or eventually, because I'm sure it would sound really killer on vinyl. I don't buy too many cassettes, but um, I figured just because it's kind of limited and I just want to support like smaller bands, I figured I'd pick it up. So uh, yeah, check these guys out if you haven't. Um, they're, they're killer. Um, next up, got uh, two CDs. So the first one, it's actually a CD that I already own, but I wanted this particular version for a particular reason. Um, this is Castle with Blacklands. Um, by far my favorite Castle album. Uh, this one came out in 2012. It's their uh, second full length. And um, it's also my introduction to the band. Actually, first time I heard about Castle was when I, I saw them open for uh, Witch Mountain. Um, I think it was in 2012, like right when this album came out. Um, anyways, I picked up this CD from the band. Um, and the reason I wanted this this version is because it's, uh, it's the uh, Japanese version that has four uh, live tracks on it as bonus tracks. So um, they're like one of my favorite bands to see live, if not uh, my favorite. And um, I thought it'd be really cool to have some of their live tracks on CD, especially considering they don't have any like live records or anything, which I hope eventually they they record one because they're a band that would uh, would kick ass on a live album. So yeah, if you've never heard Castle, um, I've talked about them before, but they're uh, they're a doom metal band. Um, kind of got a lot of elements from. Uh, Doom and Thrash. I know as weird as it sounds, but they've got kind of like more uh, faster parts for Doom Metal anyways. Um, yeah, they're a three-piece. Um, Liz, Liz Blackwell on vocals. She's just, she's an awesome vocalist. Um, yeah, I can't recommend this band enough, so uh, really killer artwork too, so check them out if you haven't. Sorry for the glare. <clears throat> Alright, and uh, Next CD, um, something that I've been meaning to pick up for a while, especially if I've got some of their stuff, including this album in my iTunes, but I don't have it on CD. Um, this is Dark Tranquility with the Gallery. Uh, this is Dark Tranquility's uh, second full-length album. Um, just a classic uh, melodic, de uh, melodic death metal album, sorry. Um, super influential, just not really much to say about it. It's a classic album. Um, this version is pretty cool too because it's got some uh, bonus tracks. They're all uh, cover songs. It's got a Creator cover. It's got Sac a Sacred Right cover, which actually uh, surprised me. Um, Iron Maiden uh, with 22 Vacation Avenue, um, Merciful Fate, and a uh, Metallica cover of My Friend of Misery. So that's actually a really cool cover. You wouldn't expect a band like Dark Tranquility to cover a uh, song off the Black Album, but um, that's probably one of the better songs off the Black Album too. Possibly even my favorite one, but anyways, kick-ass album. Um, I'm seeing, I'm actually seeing Dark Tranquility uh, next uh, Tuesday, so I'm really stoked about that too. It's going to be my first time seeing them live, They're, uh, playing in San Diego. Alright, next up. Uh, this now this record, um, I've showed this on CD before, and uh, really happy to have this on vinyl now. 
can't say enough about this album. This is a Power Trip with Manifest Decimation. Um, it's their uh, first full length uh, that came out in 2012. Um, yeah, they're, uh, they're a thrash band from uh, Texas. They've got a lot of influences of like uh, old school hardcore. If you like stuff like uh, Cursion of Conformity, uh, Chromax, Leeway, stuff like that. Um, just kind of combined with like um, a lot of the uh, Bay Area thrash, like uh, Exodus and uh, stuff like that. Um, if that sounds up your alley, then uh, check these guys out. I know you guys, most of you guys have probably heard of them by now. They're getting kind of, they're getting pretty big nowadays. But um, yeah, awesome band. I, I I can't get enough of them. I listen to them all the time. Um, and this is my favorite release from them. Their uh, their newest one, Nightmare Logic, is really good too. Um, but yeah, this is just my favorite. Comes on black vinyl. I'm not gonna pull it out of the sleeve. But um, I really dig the uh, labels on it too. Super old school. I like their logo a lot. But yeah. And I, I really love the production on this album. I know a lot of people like the uh, newest album a little more just because the production's a little cleaner. Um, but I like the kind of raw and uh, super reverby um, atmosphere on this album. Just kind of gives it a lot of character, especially with a lot of the uh, overproduced thrash metal coming out nowadays. This is kind of like a breath of fresh air, I guess. All right, and this last one is a record that I picked up at a show that uh, I went to about, um, it's been a little over a month now, actually. Just haven't shown the record, but uh, um, I actually did show this album in a, like an album recommendation, like in some videos, an album recommendation, um, but I, I wanted to pick something up from the band that day when I went and saw them. So I ended up getting another copy because um, I also wanted to get something signed from them and uh, all the members signed it, um, actually except the uh, drummer because uh, they couldn't find him but they all they all signed it to me and my wife because uh, we both went to the show. So this is uh, Sabrosa with uh, For This We Fought the Battle of Ages. Um, this is their newest album. Um, yeah, they're such a killer band. They're uh, they're a doom metal band from uh, from Utah, I think Salt Lake Salt Lake City. Um, they uh, they feature uh, two violinists to play electric violin. It just gives their whole overall sound a really like uh, just dark, heavy, atmospheric vibe. Um, something you don't hear a lot of in doom metal, but they have a really unique unique take on it. Um, and they've also got a uh, female vocalist, which is awesome. I've kind of talked about that before. I think uh, doom metal and, and uh, female vocals just go together so well. Um, yeah, just black vinyl, it's a two, two LP, but these are the, uh, the sleeves. And uh, here's the other one. So yeah, this is their uh, their latest album came out uh, last year. Um, I'll be showing some more stuff of theirs too that I picked up recently. I've been really listening to this band a lot. Um, probably one of my favorite bands at the moment. Um, and like I said, I already had this this album, and I I just I wanted to support the band, and I wanted to get something by them, especially something signed. So. I might end up selling the other uh, copy I have or something or, or trading it or something, but um, I'm going to hold on to this one obviously because it's the one that we got signed. But yeah, I thought it was really cool that they signed it for us and put our names on there and uh, yeah, it was just a really killer show. It was awesome seeing them live too because they, uh, they were just really heavy and something else live. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Um, I'll probably have something up within the next couple days too because I've got some more stuff to show. But um, thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate it. Um, and until next time.